Good morning. There's currently over 850,000 dementia sufferers in the UK, and that's projected to rise to over 1 million. 1 million by 2025. Under the current projections, we're looking at doubling that by 2050. So that would be over 2 million dementia sufferers by, over, by 2015. Clearly, there's a huge funding gap here. Um, for every for every one pound for every one pound spent on cancer research, only eight pence is spent on dementia research. So there's a huge funding gap here, um, and that's really what I'm here to talk about. Uh, Brace, which is one of our much loved local charities um, in Bristol, it was formed in uh, BS9 right here in Henleys. Um, now it's currently based in the uh, Southmead Hospital at the Brain Centre and um, really Brace's job is to raise awareness about dementia and then provide funding for um, promising lines of inquiry for in terms of researching dementia and hopefully a cure and eventually um, they fund the, the Brain Bank Centre itself or the great work that the Southwest uh, Brain Centre does. And um, it also funds uh, the scientists of tomorrow, you know, the dementia scientists of tomorrow, to kind of fund their research and all their important work. So, um, so Brace doesn't do any actual research itself. Uh, Brace, the local charity, is there to provide funding um, for that research. Local universities benefit, run the Southwest and Bristol, of course. So, so that's Brace, it's one of our much loved charities and we love supporting them. And um, yeah, dementia, so let's just um, touch on dementia for a moment. It's an un umbrella term really, which covers a lot of different types of dementia and, and a person could suffer from different types of dementia at the same time, but the ones that you've probably heard of is Al Alzheimer's which is the vast majority of um, dementia sufferers suffer from uh, Alzheimer's, which is um, a build-up really of sticky proteins within the brain which cause that disease. Um, we've also got vascular dementia, um, which is a restriction of blood flow to the brain cells, so it might be a stroke, um, which cause that brain damage, which kind of leads to dementia. Um, but there's a lot of symptoms, uh, wide ranging symptoms, and it's notoriously really difficult to uh, diagnose dementia in lifetime. Um, it's really difficult to be accurate, and that's why it's so important that the work of the brain centre in terms of analysing brain tissue after death, and um, it'll often be only six months after death that that actual uh, diagnosis is got for the family. Um, but some of the lifetime uh, symptoms which you you probably be aware of if you're watching this is kind of behavioural changes. So you might notice just changes in almost subtle changes at first in behaviour of your loved ones. Um, memory loss, of course, is a is a common one. So you might start forgetting uh, things that just happened. Um, sight and hearing can go. Concentration. Um, there's some uh, symptoms of just kind of not being able to concentrate on things over, over a period of time and just general mood swings you know it's, these things can kind of uh, change on a daily basis so it's, it is really difficult to diagnose but those are sorts of things to kind of look out for the most important thing really though is it's <coughs> not aging so this is a disease <coughs> it's not not a uh, not a symptom of kind of just getting older. Um, this is an actual disease that will progress over time. So it's not aging. Really. This is an actual disease of the brain. So that's one thing to kind of look out for. Um, the main risks, really, of uh, or the main uncontrollable risks of dementia are is that aging. So for people who are um, 65 to 69, it's just a two percent. <coughs> risk but for those people who are kind of 85 to 89 that kind of age group that rises to 19 <clears throat> percent so clearly the older you get the more chance that you are going to you know start to start to um, have that risk of getting getting dementia and genetics is another 
key things. So if you do have a family history of dementia, there is that greater possibility that you'll get dementia yourself. But there's a whole lot of things that you can do to reduce that risk that you're under your control. So maybe up to 50% of the risk can be reduced just by things that you can do yourself. So um, exercise, um, we're not talking about going down David Lloyd and doing a hardcore uh, spin class or anything like that. Just getting out, doing some gardening, um, walking the dog around Camford Park, um, just going out with friends. Just kind of keeping things moving, keeping the blood flow going through the body can have a huge impact. <clears throat> Alcohol and smoking, you know, common links to a lot of diseases, as you know, but it'd be great to kind of keep under the alcohol limits, the recommended limits for the week, and smoking has links to lots of different diseases, so really, if you can stop smoking, that'd be perfect. There's local organisations that we can signpost you to um, if you're struggling to stop smoking. Uh, diet, another biggie, um, there's a big link between uh, gut health, or there's a growing link anyway between gut health and the brain. So if you can look after your gut, um, that can have a really great impact on, on, on your risks of getting any disease really. So it'd be great to kind of keep that balanced, healthy lifestyle, healthy diet. Um, mental activity, you know, keeping active and uh, keeping your body stretched, your mind stretched and taking up new hobbies and learning new things. Um, doing part-time jobs, just kind of keeping that brain active and stimulated and motivated and enthusiastic has a huge impact and can really can reduce the risk. And having that positive well-being, which is linked to that social isolation, so there's a huge link between social isolation and dementia, that's what studies have shown, so um, that's kind of ties in with what we talked about last week with the Marmalade Trust video, please look at the uh, Marmalade Trust video as well on loneliness, so we are um, heavily involved with them, so there's a lot of um, link between isolation and so I would recommend that you um, engage as best you can with the community, any groups, hobbies, learn something new, have, just have a fresh start really um, in, the, in the local community. There's a lot going on as we know in, in North West Bristol, uh, but if you really are struggling, um, get in touch with us or directly with Marmalade Trust uh, and then they can put you in touch with um, either a companion or groups and activities that can support you in kind of getting into that kind of more social engagement which is which would be really helpful to reduce the risk of dementia. Um, so Brace is here to raise funds in the local community for researching dementia. Um, if you would like to learn more, go onto the website. Uh, it's www.brace, uh, sorry, alzheimer's forward slash brace.org. That's www.alzheimer's forward slash brace.org. Um, or if you just Google Brace, you'll, it'll come up on your uh, homepage. Um, there's lots of activities going on. We've got one coming up actually in two days. We've got the um, uh, charity dinner and auction at the Marriott Hotel in, in Bristol just in two days. So that's to raise funds for uh, Brace. I do believe it's sold out now, but um, there'll be another one next year. So if, I think if that's of interest, we've got lots of things going on. Quick plug for our Cup of a Cure event, uh, which is on, um, on one of our Welcome Wednesdays on July the 20th. That's at the Eastfield Inn. Um, so you're quite welcome to pop by. It's a very informal coffee morning. Um, got coffee, cakes, um, you can meet new people. Very, very uh, lovely, friendly event. Um, so if you go onto the website, uh, Harold Stevens' website for that, you'll get information for that. Uh, what else have we got? We've got the uh, bungee, bungee jump, bungee for brace uh, in August. Uh, not for me, um, but I know Vicky and James in the office are going to do a bungee jump to raise funds for brace. So we've got that in August. So if there's any daredevils out there, uh, please get in touch. Uh, what else we've got? Um, what else we've got? We've got the Bristol 10K. So we've got places on the Bristol 10K in September. Uh, for those fitness enthusiasts, and we've got uh, 
uh, we have got together for Dementia Conference. The Dementia Conference is in November, and that's in person in Bristol. Um, you can sign up for a virtual online event, but it's also um, in person. And we've got loads of great speakers and activities all around dementia. So that'd be a really great, enlightening educational event as well. So um, I think I've remembered all the events that are happening, but just go onto the Brace website and you can uh, read up on what's happening and sign up for things. Um, so yes, a lot to get, get involved and um, yeah, we'll see you next time and uh, yeah, hope to uh, hear from you. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.